Hi everyone, this is Alan here and this is a very small session to let you know about all things that you need to understand with regard to adding the experience within my ACCA. Well, we know the fact that to be an ACCA member, you need to complete all the 13 set of exams. In addition to which, you need to complete your ethics module and the most importantly, your 36 months of experience requirements and 22 set of experience objectives. So, well, I have mentioned two elements with regard to the experience, which means that 36 months of experience requirements, that is a three year experience requirement, plus 22 practical experience requirement objectives. So the PER objectives, all the 22 objectives are not necessarily important to complete, out of which you only need to complete nine objectives. Okay, well, let's have a quick look on all the performance objective. Before that, I just want to let you know one main thing that you can include all the set of relevant experience within my ACC, which means in case if you have worked in any of the field with regarding to accounting and auditing, definitely you can include that experience within my ACC. So for example, if you have worked under a chartered accountant, maybe for uh, six months or even for two or three months, even that can also be included within this my ACC as part of your three year experience requirement. Okay. And if you are employed as a tutor in an approved learning provider, even you can include that. But there is a restriction that you are only allowed to include maximum a period of one year within your teaching. Okay, so that's only regulation that's affecting your teaching profession. Other than that, you can have any set of experience. All right, so let's start with the tab. So once you have logged into my ACCA, just click on record your practical experience requirements and you will get a new window over here okay then you need to log in again all right so we've got the page over here and here we need to include the details in relation to our employer so maybe we will include a sample employees uh, sorry employer's name here paybench llp then addresses pilot steward Kakanad. Okay. Then uh, city, it's Ernakulam. Then state, it's uh, Kerala. State, it's Kerala. And country, India. And zip code, maybe 682018. Yeah. And we will click on save and next. And again, they will take it to the details of the employee, which means they will ask us to include our job title, then our start date of employment, the end date, if there is any end date, then end date, the hours worked and so on, so on details. We will include the audit associate as my role. Okay, audit associate. Yeah, associate. Then the start date, maybe three months back, February 1st, we will consider it as the start date and we will give another end date, maybe yesterday as the end date. And average hours per week, it's 35 itself. I have worked 100 percentage of my role. Okay, then ACC approved employer. No, it's not an ACC approved employer. Job role, uh, it's audit role. Okay, it's not a lecturing role. And we will again click on seven next. Then ACC will take us to another page whereby we need to include the details in relation to your supervisor. Well, the supervisor can be any person who is working as a senior in your firm or your company where you were working and the first name so well this is my firm so i will include my name as the m uh, supervisor name alan bichu and my mail id over here alan bichu 31 at gmail.com then i'm in fact qualified line manager as an acc member and the job title i will include it as audit manager okay audit manager then save and send the invite and once we click on save and send the invite your supervisor will receive a particular mail. Then your performance supervisor need to open the same mail and they need to click on the link that is being included within the mail. So I have already taken my mail here because I have been added as the supervisor. So I need to click on this link. And once the link is being loaded, there are two options, one for the ACC members and the other one is for the other professional bodies members say so for example if you are being if your supervisor is being part of icai or icaew or any other ifa qualified professional bodies 
then they can include details here or if I'm an ACCA member then I can log into my ACCA account to approve your request so I will just log into my ACCA all right then once after the my ACCA is being loaded then we will get a separate dialog box in order to approve your request okay so it's take a while to page load the page yeah I've uh, got an request over here that your pathway is relationship is an identified qualified line manager job title is audit manager and I have also received all the details in relation to my firm and I can confirm and link okay then I will click on confirm and link and once I have clicked on the confirm and link page this is the page final page that I will receive it will show the details all the details in relation to the trainees that are under my supervision okay so this is all that your supervisor need to do for the time being and once all these things are done then or a message will be received to the employee as well so in case if you are requesting for the approval then you will receive a mail confirming that your supervisor have approved your request and once it's done again you need to come back to your my ACCA that you need to log in again back to your my ACCA and you can click on claim the time now okay so once you click on claim the time now so this is the time that you can claim okay that's a three month period that you can claim now then click on claim this time and again you will be taken to a new page over here and here you need to include uh, your practical experience supervisor's name again There's, there will be a drop down box over here and you can choose it from there and here you need to include some set of comments like please approve my experience okay so you need to include your request over here well you need to formally draft your uh, request over here and you need to click on submit okay and after clicking on the submit button again your supervisor will receive one more another mail relating to the same that you are requesting an option to confirm the time that you have claimed and again in the same way in which we have already done the supervisor need to log in again back to your my AC, their my ACCA or if they are not a qualified member of ACCA then they need to log in using their other credentials and after that they need to click on approve time so this experience will be added to your record well I'm not taking to that step because we have just included a sample employment uh, so we cannot approve that so you need to do all these things to complete your experience requirements so this is all about adding your practical experience of 36 months into your experience record well this is not just the requirement by ACCA once this is being done you need to include your performance objectives as well well, I have already mentioned to you that you've got 22 performance objectives in total to complete. So these all are the 22 set of objectives and out of this only the first five are mandatory one. That's the essential ones. All the first five are mandatory that you, you need to show how you have uh, used your ethics and professionalism while working in the organization, stakeholders, relationship management, how you have managed that and all these things. And after that, you need to complete any four technicals as well. So if you were working under an accountant or you being employed as part of the financial reporting field, then you can include any of these three. Or if you were under a management accounting team, then you can include all these teams. Or you were working in the tax and the audit department, then you can include any of these technical teams as well. Okay. So in total, you need to complete nine objectives out of total 22 objectives. And all the details in relation to the way in which you need to complete and submit your objectives are shown over here so say for example we will just do one thing we will click on the first one okay once after clicking on the first one here you have got an option uh, which shows all the details in relation to the elements that you need to complete then you can click on start objective then after clicking on start objective again you will be taken to a new page then over here you need to include the statement you need to include your statement and uh, this statement will show how you have completed your particular performance objective. They have included a set of claims over here. If you have sat done with the first element and if you have done with the second element, then you need to mention here how you have done the first and second element. Then you have to save the statement. After saving the statement, again a new dialogue box will come, which will ask your supervisor to approve this particular request. And again, after clicking on the supervisor's request, 
then your supervisor will receive a new mail same as that of the mail that we earlier received and the supervisor need to click on approve that and this practical experience requirement will also be added to your experience record. So this is a way in which you need to complete your PER as well. And one more thing guys, in case if you are being employed under an approved employer, say for example, if you're working under any of the big fours such as EY, KPMG, Deloitte or PwC or any other approved employers, then you will be exempted from this ACCA's performance objectives or the PER. So you just want to search ACCA PER exemption form in the Google. Okay, exemption form. So yeah, we have got over here. This is a PER exemption form. It's a PDF file. Uh, yeah, this is approved employees exemption form. And in this exemption form, or the only thing that you need to do is that you need to fill your details in relation to your workplace or your employment. And after that, you need to include the details of your approved employer as well as your supervisor's details. And after that, you have got all the set of 22 essential and technical objectives here and your supervisor need to sign off each of the objectives well you are not required to give any of the statements or anything over here your supervisor only need to just give up their signature all over here and they need to give the date on which they have approved this particular objective and once it's done you can submit it to info at accaglobal.com and after being submitted this form to ACCA, they will give you complete exemption for the PER. So this is all you need to do if you are being employed under an approved employer. Or if you are not employed under the approved employer, you need to do the same step as we discussed earlier. Okay, so this is all you need to do in relation to adding your experience and performance objective within my ACCA account. All right, guys. So always keep it in mind, it is equally important to complete your papers and once the papers are done or even before the papers are done, it is very important for us to include our experience as well. So even if you worked only for two months in a firm or in a company, even then also you can claim the experience and that month will also be deducted from your 36 months and you can be part of ACCA members family as early as you can. All the best guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.